All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the different types of skeletal muscles as well as some of the factors that are used in naming skeletal muscles. So the first type of skeletal muscle is called a parallel muscle. And this is where the fascicles, the bundles of muscle fibers, are parallel to the long axis. Bicep brachii in your arm is an example. The second type is called a convergent muscle. Convergent muscles, the fascicles are spread across a broad base but come together at a common attachment point, kind of triangular shaped muscles. Uh, the pectoralis muscles are an example of convergent muscles. Then we have the pennate muscles. There's three types of pennate muscles, unipennate, bipennate, and multipennate. And they all have to do with the fascicles forming common angles with a central tendon. In a unipennate muscle, the fascicles are all on one side of that tendon. So they have that common angle they're all on one side of the tendon. Uh, the extensor digitorum muscle is an example. The bipennate is where you have fascicles on both sides of that central tendon, but again, that, that common angle. Uh, the rectus femoris muscle in the, in the thigh is an example here. And then multipennate is where that, ang where that tendon branches within the muscle, so you have multiple angles because you have the, the branching of that central tendon, uh, the deltoid in the shoulder is an example. And finally we have circular muscles or sphincter muscles, which are where you have the fibers or the fascicles form rings around a central opening. Uh, obicularis aureus, muscle around your mouth is an example. So as far as terms go, uh, table 11.1 in your textbook is a great place to look for these. You have uh, terms here that specify what region of the body, like the abdominus region, muscles in the abdominal region, uh, terms that indicate position, direction, or organization, you know, internal, external, uh, lateralis, oblique, so on. Terms that indicate structural characteristics, uh, the biceps, two heads, triceps, three heads, so on. Shape of the muscle, if it's triangular shape, that's a deltoid. You know, if it's a pyramid, it's pyramidal, things like that. And then there are action, abductors, adductors, and so on, uh, as well as specific actions like the buccinator or trumpeter muscle. You can see some of these others here as well. 